And I've got a couple of parents here with me now. Tiffany and Tony are here. They've got a daughter named Audrey. Tiffany, I appreciate you stopping by and, and sharing your story. Yeah. Tell us about Audrey. Audrey, where do I begin? Um, <laughs> she's two years she, old. She's two and a half years old, and she is riding the train with Gigi right now because she Gigi's was... Gigi's grandma. Yes, Gigi's grandma, because she was being very two and a half years old. Right. Um, she was born... Um, well, before she was born, we were told that um, she had some kidney problems, mm -hmm. that her lungs were not developing properly. Um, and ultimately, around 24 weeks of my pregnancy, we were told that she was not compatible with life. Um, that she was going to die. And so um, Tony and I prepared as best we could. Um, to put it in perspective for people, we always say, and this is completely honest, we had a, an urn and a baby blanket for her. Um, we had talked to funeral homes. You know, we were prepared to, to lose her. Yeah. So she came on her own at 32 weeks. Um, she came out kicking and screaming a little and early, pink. But, but yeah it was early um very I, much alive very alive i mean <laughs> i'd never in a million years thought i was gonna hear her cry um she was crying she was fighting off the neonatologist to, that were trying to take care of her <sighs> and, and you're thinking, wow, what a yeah blessing. we were like what's going on who right. is this baby um we weren't expecting her so she spent seven weeks in the hospital then she ultimately came home um like i said she's she's in chronic renal failure um so we see the nephrology team at vcu they have been amazing. They have kept her incredibly healthy. Dad, when you got this news, I mean, what a tough thing as a father to know that, you know, you might lose your daughter. I mean, how did you handle this as a guy? Um, it was tough. I mean, it was just you just try to do anything you can for, for your daughter. I mean, it's it's a tough place to be in, and uh, you just uh, try to be as supportive and as understanding as you possibly can. And and you've been guys, you guys both have been going through this for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and it's a continuing service that you mm -hmm. have to have from children's. Yep. Will this continue for a long period of time, or where are we looking at as far as the future goes? Yeah, um, chronic kidney failure is was just one of many of her diagnoses, um, but she is expected to need a kidney transplant in the future. Um, originally, like, we didn't think her kidneys worked at all, but now right. that they're they're pretty hopeful that her kidneys will last her until puberty or adolescence. Right, so, right. Um, until then, we're just going to continue with, she gets blood work, you know, often to check her electrolytes and, um, you know, kidney ultrasounds and, and all that stuff. Um, good nutrition, medication yeah. every Talk day. Talk to me about the, the staff, you know, when I have a son who's now 20 years old and mm -hmm. has uh, been through children's before. Mm -hmm. He had asthma and, and peanut allergies. And, mm -hmm. you know, there was one point where we almost lost him. And, yeah. you know, he, thank God, has, uh, you know become very healthy in place for the University of Alabama football team now right. and is doing well. But when we had him in the hospital, what really stood out to Judy and I, my wife, was how much these nurses and doctors really become part of your family. Yeah, they Have do. Have you experienced the same thing? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. Um, in particular, the nephrology team, Dr. Bunchman, he has been there since she was born. He is available to us anytime we need him. Um, he, you know, I tell everybody, I'll email him in the middle of the night with, you know, something going on with her. And within, you know, hours or minutes, I often have a response back. Um, he's grown the nephrology team over the last two years, and they're awesome. Um, so helpful, so understanding. They, I feel like they genuinely care about her. Absolutely. As a, as a yeah. person, they care about our family. Um, always ask, you know, how we're doing, how our move went. Um, and when she's impatient, the nurses are awesome. They're, you know, they've definitely become friends to us when we're there. Well, I know as parents, it's uh, one of the toughest things to deal with when your child is sick and you just, you know, sometimes get that feeling that you're helpless and I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And to have the support of the hospital like that, yeah. you know, it, it's incredible to have a whole team that really becomes part of your family. Yeah, I couldn't, I always say I couldn't imagine going through this without the team that we have down there. Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we're going to put definitely Audrey in our prayers and Thanks. I hope everything goes well Thank with, you. with her, her prognosis down the road. and. You know, I'm, I'm thankful for you guys to share your story yeah. with our listeners, too. So. Thanks for having us. She's Thank a tough girl. All right. I really appreciate it.